hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully improve your battery life on your Windows computer. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I do want to point out that the performance of your computer might be a little bit slower in order to gain more battery life, but that is, you know, there's a little bit of a give and take for that. So a pretty straightforward process, guys, I have in store for you today. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing I recommend doing would be to dim the monitor display. So if you can turn down the brightness settings, that is always you know, a suggestion worth taking. Also, if you want to use a darker background color instead of using a really bright one that uses more energy, consider using one that's a little bit darker. That could definitely help improve your performance of your machine a little bit. That could definitely help improve the performance of your battery life a little bit. And now we want to go ahead and jump in into some settings we can modify. So open up the search menu and type in control panel. Best match should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons. And then you want to select power options. And underneath preferred plans or additional plans, you want to select power saver. Save energy by reducing your computer's performance where possible. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Something else I would also recommend doing as well, right-click on the Windows Start button and select Task Manager. If you're on Windows 10 or earlier, you're going to have to just right-click on a blank area of your taskbar and select Task Manager. But anyway, you want to select the Startup tab now. And any programs listed in here are pretty much everything except for your antivirus. You can disable them from starting up when your computer starts up. So it's going to prevent programs from running in the background, using more of your system resources, thus slowing your computer down. So you can disable most of them, so just highlight over it, and then you would select the Disable button in the bottom right. If you ever wanted to come back in and enable any of them for any reason, you can. This doesn't prevent the program from running on your computer. It just prevents it from turning on every time your computer restarts. So unless you're using a Dropbox or OneDrive or an antivirus program, you can disable pretty much everything else in here. And then you should be good to go. You would have to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. And that's the pretty much the big stuff. You can also go into the search menu and type in performance. And underneath best match, you want to select adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and go ahead and open that up. You can select adjust for best performance and then apply. Please note that some of the more appealing graphics are going to be diminished if you do that. So just keep that in mind, especially certain text will also be adjusted here as well. So sometimes I like going in here and then kind of going one item at a time and then enabling stuff again. So there's usually a, a middle ground between the best performance and best appearance. And again, that's more of a personal preference here, but you can definitely increase the performance of your machine by adjusting for best performance. But again, it's going to affect the user experience a little bit more than the other options, I would say. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. I do apologize to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.